Now this brings us to the uh, last topic that we want to discuss uh, on in security which is basically certain practices that we can follow at home to ensure uh, a secure communication and secure network. So what are the things that uh, we can do? So uh, let us look at it in parts. So the first part is uh, the personal computing device recommendations. So uh, which basically means what are the recommendations for the devices that you have uh, that you communicate with over the network. So uh, the few things that you should take care of is update your operating systems, use security softwares, uh, limit the use of root and administrative accounts because if those are compromised it becomes easier to uh, access your system. Then uh, use sandboxing browsers. So what we mean by sandboxing browsers is these browsers uh, they work in an independent environment and in case there is a malicious uh, code that has been executed it will just affect the browser and not the system. So there are a lot of sandboxing browsers that are available and a lot of browsers have the sandboxing cap capabilities. You should also update the applications that you are using. Use encryption wherever possible. For example, uh, use HTTPS, ensure all your uh, websites that you are using are on HTTPS. Then you should always download software from trusted sources. For example, if you are uh, say you are trying to download VLC media player, you could go directly to the website and download it from there. And if even if you are downloading it from say a different source, there is something called a checksum which is available with every software. You could uh, copy the checksum from the website, download the software and use any simple software to calculate the checksum of that particular application or the file that you have downloaded. If these two match then that means you have the correct software and it has not been tampered with. And the last point in this uh, section is classify activities as per device trust level. So what we mean by device trust levels? So you have a lot of devices say uh, one device is used by uh, your children in the uh, house, some are used by you. So children are not that aware and they might go into websites which might compromise their systems. So try not to use those systems for say financial transactions. So every device can have a different trust level based on who is using it, how much that particular user is aware. So you should know which applications or which particular uh, functions you should not perform or perform on those devices.